Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover finding a percent of a number. And we are going to do that by multiplying the number by the fraction form or decimal form of the percent. And as you can see, there are three examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have 50% of 16. And again, we need to multiply that 16 by the fraction form or decimal form of the percent. I will do both for number one. So let's do fraction form first. And the fraction form of 50% or any percent, you just put the percent over 100. Percent means per 100, so 50 hundredths. Now whenever we have a percent of a number, a fraction of a number, or decimal of a number, it is a multiplication problem. We can replace the of with a multiplication sign. So 50 hundredths times 16, and we'll put it over 1, so that fraction still holds the value of 16. We just have a numerator and a denominator now. Now we multiply straight across. 50 times 16 is 800, and 100 times 1 is 100. And that's improper, so we need to do 800 divided by 100, which is 8. Now, as you can see, that improper fraction answer, 800 over 100, got fairly large in value. Um, those numbers. So what we can do, if you know a simplified version of the fraction, right, 50 hundredths is a half. Those are equivalent fractions. So we can replace 50 hundredths with one half, multiply it by our number, and we get 16 over 2, which is a lot more manageable than 800 and 100 there. So we get to 16 divided by 2, and we get the same answer of 8. So again, you can use the simplified version of the fractional, um, fractional form of the percent. So again, what we did, we multiplied the fractional form of 50% by 16. Our next method you can do uh, the decimal form of the percent times the number. And the decimal form of 50% is 50 hundredths, right? That's equivalent to this fraction here. It's just in decimal form, times 16. And if we were to multiply that out by hand or calculator, whatever the case may be, you're going to get to the same answer of 8. So again, decimal form of that percent times the number 16. Let's take a look at number two, 25% of 20. So we'll do the fractional form first. Remember a percent means per 100 or out of 100. So 25 out of 100 times 20. 25 times 20 gives us 500. 100 times 1 is 100. And we get to 500 divided by 100. Improper to um, a division problem there. 500 divided by 100 equals 5. So 25% of 20 is 5. And again, we can use the simplified fraction of 25 hundredths, which is one-fourth. So just to show you another way here, we can do one-fourth times 20. And we get 20 over 4, which gives us the same answer, 5. And then the decimal way, the decimal form of 25% is 25 hundredths times 20. So again, if we punch that into a calculator or do it out by hand, we're going to get the same answer of five. And lastly, number three, 65% of 15. 
So in order to put a percent to fractional form, we put it over 100, multiply it by 15. We can go straight across, which we get 975 over 100. So we need to convert out of that improper fraction. So how many whole groups of 100 out of 975? Well, nine. We have 75 left over out of 100. So nine and 75 hundredths, I'll put it in decimal form as well, nine and 75 hundredths. Or we can multiply by the decimal form of 65%, which would be 65 hundredths times 15. Multiply it out, and we're going to get the same thing, 9 and 75 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how you find a percent of a number. Multiply the number you're finding the percent of by the fractional form or decimal form of the percent, and you'll get that percent of the number. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.